Good morning, good morning, good morning, Dr. Mark. And I am so glad that I am back with another Sunday service from the quarantine chapel. The other day, a listener said to me, every Sunday, you're on our TV. And I was just so happy to hear that. I pray that you will gather your family around your TV or around your phone as you listen to the Quarantine Chapel worship service Sunday after Sunday. As we continue our service today, I'd like you to listen to this song from one of my favorite gospel groups, Mercy Me. And this song is entitled, Word of God Speak. Is God still speaking today? Yeah. Are we hearing from Almighty God? We're hearing from everyone else, but are we hearing from Almighty God? Listen to the song and be blessed. Word of God Speak. It's okay. It's okay. The last thing I need is to be heard, but to hear what you would say. To hear what you would say. Word of God speaking. Would you pour down like rain? Washing my eyes to see. Your majesty to be still and know, be still and know that you're in this place. You're in this place. Let me stay and rest, rest in your holiness. The word of God speak. Hallelujah. I pray He's speaking to you today. Almighty God, we come into your presence today. We come wanting to hear from you. So many voices are in our ears, Lord. And sometimes we cannot figure out uh, which voice that we should follow. But you said in your word, you shall hear a voice in your ears saying, this is the way walking it. And I pray the Lord that your voice would be clear within our hearts uh, and clear within our minds uh, so that we can follow your instructions and follow your directions. Proverbs tells us that a good man's step is directed by the Lord. Uh, and we pray, dear Lord, that you may speak to us in ways and means that we have never heard you before. We pray, dear Lord, that you may give us a word of power, a word of strength, a word of encouragement. We pray that you may give us a word of revelation, dear Lord, that we can know what your action will be on our behalf, not just today, but also in the future. Bless your words to our hearts, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. As we continue our service today, I would like to read our scripture. It's from St. John's Gospel, chapter 10. And it says this, I tell you the truth. The man who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate but climbs up by some other way is a thief and a robber. The man who enters by the gate is the shepherd of his sheep. The watchman opens the gate for him and the sheep listens to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and lead them out. 
when he has brought out uh, all his own, uh, he goes ahead of them uh, and his sheep follow him uh, because they know his voice. Uh, but they will not follow a stranger. In fact, uh, they will run away from him uh, because they do not recognize uh, a stranger voice. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, may God add his blessings uh, to his word today. Are we hearing from God in this day and age? Is God speaking to the church? Is God speaking to our leaders? Is God speaking to us so that we can have a word of revelation, a word of direction, and a word of guidance from him? If we fail to hear from God, we lack divine direction. Let me say this again. If we fail to hear from God, we lack divine direction. And because we need guidance, because we need instruction, in fact, because we need direction, we need to hear from God today, yeah. Whenever we are perplexed about a certain situation, whenever we are confused, uh, it is good to know uh, that there is someone uh, that we can go to uh, and uh, listen uh, to what uh, they have to say, yeah. I know that as a chaplain, uh, as I served in the United States Army, soldiers will come to us uh, to hear a word uh, of encouragement or a word of inspiration. Uh, after they've been beat down and beat down by the drill sergeants, uh, and after they've been tired and worn out uh, from their training, uh, they will come into the chapel or they will come into counseling. Uh, and what they're looking for is a, a word of encouragement, uh, a word of support, a word that will make a difference uh, within uh, their hearts and within their lives. Uh, and I know that our world today yeah, has turned us topsy-turvy. Yeah. And there are times when uh, we don't know our hand uh, from our elbow. Uh, and we need a word uh, that can make a difference uh, in our hearts and in our lives. Uh, in the Old Testament, uh, our Lord and God himself uh, speak to us uh, in ways and means uh, that we would not even imagine. Uh, he spoke uh, to the kings. Uh, he spoke to the prophets. Uh, he spoke uh, to the leaders uh, and he gave them a word uh, that uh, give them the instruction and guidance uh, in uh, their lives today. Uh, and if God speak uh, to them, when God spoke to them uh, and they answered and responded to God's uh, voice, uh, it made uh, a difference in their hearts and in their dif difference in their lives. Uh, and I want you to know today, yeah, if you are looking for a voice, uh, God is ready to speak to you. Amen. If you are listen, if you are looking to hear a voice that can make a difference in your heart and in your life, uh, God uh, is willing uh, to speak to you. Uh, God speak to us in so many different ways, uh, and I really would like you to understand. Standards. He says, my sheep hear my voice. And he says, because there is a certain recognition of my voice that comes to the ears of the sheep. Of course, we know that's a figure of speech that Jesus was using, but it was well known in those days that a shepherd knew his sheep. The shepherd knew his sheep by name. The shepherd will take them out there uh, and uh, he uh, would definitely give them a uh, command uh, you know the other day I went to visit a friend uh, and uh, I was amazed uh, when that friend uh, was given command to uh, 
his dog uh, and he was saying to his dog sit there and the dog would sit there and he would say to the to the the dog stand uh, and he would say to the dog uh, turn around uh, and we have seen uh, all of these shows on television uh, uh, America got talent uh, how uh, people and their pet uh, seems to be in harmony uh, and how they would give them command uh, and suggestions and they carry it out well, because uh, they know uh, the voice. Uh, there is a sense of familiarity to that voice uh, that makes uh, a difference. Uh, well, since we're in the age of AI, uh, I decided uh, to type in to AI uh, what uh, uh, the voice, the significance of uh, a voice. Uh, and number one, it says uh, that uh, a voice is like uh, a finger print of sound that's right which is unique and different with a combination of characteristics like pitch and tone and cadences there are times when you know someone's voice when they are speaking over a hundred yards because there is a sense of pitch and tone and familiarity that you have with that voice so when you hear it you can identify that individual by name well I hope uh, that uh, we are familiar with the voice uh, of God. Uh, you may say, well, uh, uh, Dr. Williams, uh, God does not speak uh, to us like he did back in those days. Uh, and I'm saying to you, that's where you are wrong. God still speak. God still gives direction. God's voice is still important in our day and in our age. Yes, there are times in, in the Old Testament where the voice of God was limited to a selected few, a selected king and selected prophet and the selected leaders. When I think of of uh, men like Moses uh, that hear God's voice and God gives him direction in delivering the children of Israel. Uh, when I think of David, how God spoke to him. Uh, when I think of the prophet Elisha and Elijah, how God spoke to them uh, and give them instructions and direction uh, and gave them victory in their day and age. Uh, I'm saying today, uh, he is the God, the same yesterday today and forever and he still speak to us uh, do you hear me today the difference is uh, that uh, God's voice uh, is not just for a selected few uh, do you hear me today God's voice today is not just for a selected few uh, but his voice uh, is for whoever would listen whoever would seek after him who Whoever will call upon his name, whoever will trust in him, whoever would say, I need a word from God. And I tell you, one of the ways in which God speak to us, and I can testify to that, is through his word. Hallelujah. Through the Bible through his word when we when we go back to the basic of reading and understanding God's word when we go back to prayer and reading God's word he speaks to us God has a way of calling us to ministry through his word he has a way of speaking to us and giving us direction I can remember as a young preacher I was seeking God's direction. Uh, I, I was in the islands uh, I'm, I'm preaching uh, and, and God wanted uh, to show me something. Uh, and I remember one morning I got up and began to read. Uh, and when I began to read God's word, uh, the words lavitated off uh, the pages uh, and hit me straight there uh, in uh, my forehead. Uh, and as I read 
write those words. Uh, he says, go uh, just as I send Abraham. Uh, go, uh, go, go. Uh, and as a result, uh, I got up uh, and I was obedient uh, to God's word. Uh, yes, uh, we need to go back uh, to our Bible reading. Uh, and I tell you, the Lord has really impressed upon my heart and upon my mind uh, to go back and read through the Bible again. Uh, and uh, it's a good thing I've gone back and read through the Bible again uh, because I'm, I'm discovering uh, God's voice over and over and over again uh, through the pages uh, of his word. Uh, if you want to drown out uh, the noise around you, uh, if you want to sensitize, uh, sensitize all uh, of uh, the noise and the voices around you, uh, I would uh, encourage you to go to God's word uh, and take yourself away, uh, take yourself apart uh, and begin uh, to read. Uh, and as you begin to read uh, his holy word, hallelujah, as you begin to read uh, the Bible, you will fine uh, that uh, he will speak uh, that's right uh, you will find that he will speak to us uh, like he spoke uh, to the leaders uh, back uh, in bible times uh, you will find uh, that god has a way uh, of uh, giving us instruction uh, and direction. That's why, I mean, from the very beginning, it says, train up a child in the way that he should go, that when he is old, he will not depart from it. If we are trained into the word of God, if we begin to learn to read the word of God, while as a child growing up, the word of God will stay with us and in us. And when we need direction and guidance, we will receive it from Almighty God. There is that familiarity with God's voice. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, his voice. Uh, yes, the disciples, uh, they knew that voice. Uh, and when he said to them, uh, go to the village, uh, and there was uh, two colt there. there. There was a colt and a donkey. Uh, tell them uh, that the Lord has need of them. Uh, and the disciples responded uh, to the voice uh, of God, uh, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, and then when he was at uh, the well, uh, and the woman, came, the woman came down to draw water, the Samaritan woman, and he spoke to her. He said to her, I will grant you living water where you will never thirst again. Uh, hallelujah. Living water where you will never thirst. Uh, and as a result, uh, Jesus spoke to her uh, and uh, make, uh, made a difference. Uh, just like he spoke uh, to blind Bartimaeus uh, and gave him back his sight. Uh, just like he spoke to Lazarus uh, and say, come forth. Uh, it's the same Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that we, uh, sp that we are serving today and he still speak. Uh, hallelujah. It was such a joy to visit uh, a member of my congregation when I was uh, a senior pastor here at the Fort Knox, uh, Kentucky Main Post Protestant Chapel. Uh, and as I went to visit uh, that couple, uh, uh, she, she, the, she began to tell me uh, about uh, her experience uh, with uh, God's voice. Uh, it was a few years ago uh, that her son had passed uh, and her son, uh, had, she had the responsibility of taking care of her son, uh, even uh, as he was a grown man because of certain disabilities uh, that he had. Uh, and uh, sadly, uh, he passed on uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, and when he passed on, uh, she said to herself, uh, well, Lord, uh, I mean, what am I going to do? Uh, and she was saying to herself, I don't know what am I going to do. And then she said to me, uh, the Lord spoke to her and said to her, take 
care of yourself. Uh, that's what uh, he wants uh, her to do. Uh, and she told me, just as clear as day, yeah, just as you can hear a sound in your ears, uh, she got that instruction uh, and direction uh, from Almighty God uh, to take uh, care of uh, yourself. Uh, yes, uh, God still gives direction to uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, he lead us into the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Uh, and he says, yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we'll fear no evil because he is with us. Uh, he speaks and directs our path. Uh, and I'm saying today, uh, God wants to direct your path. God wants to speak. Uh, he wants to speak uh, and uh, tell you that the way that you are going is the wrong way. Yeah? And there is a better way. Yeah? And there is uh, a better solution. Uh, God wants to speak to preserve uh, your life uh, and preserve your ministry. Uh, God wants to speak. Uh, and in your sense of frustration, he wants to give you direction. God wants to speak uh, when you're worn out and tired and feel that you are the only only one laugh. Uh, listen to Elijah uh, when God spoke to him uh, and said there was over 350 thousand prophets uh, who have not bowed to Baal. Uh, God speaks uh, today. Yeah. I can tell you of my own experience, uh, but uh, I would like you to share about your own experience, uh, how God uh, is speaking to you today. But you may say today, uh, well, uh, chaplain, uh, well, God has not spoken to me yet. Uh, I mean, uh, I have sought him uh, in so many ways uh, and he has not spoken to me yet. But here is my question. Is that God has not spoken to you or is it the fact uh, you're not familiar with his voice? Or is the fact uh, that you're not listening to his voice? You see, uh, not only does he speak through his word, uh, but he also speak. Do you hear me today? He also speak to our hearts uh, and uh, our mind. God has a way uh, of impressing uh, upon our hearts uh, and upon our minds uh, his direction and his guidance uh, and his inspiration and his revelation. Uh, and let me tell you something. You don't have to wonder if this word is from God when God speaks. Uh, I know that we live in, in a day and age uh, when so many prophets are telling you uh, that they can prophesy uh, about your life uh, and they can tell you what's going on uh, in the future but they only deal with generalities. Do you hear me today? Yeah. They, they deal with things uh, that you already know. Uh, but when you're looking for specific insight, uh, when you're looking for uh, a solution to a particular problem, uh, those are the prophets. Uh, those are not the ones that you go to. Uh, you go to Almighty God because he has a way of impressing uh, upon our hearts uh, and upon our minds uh, that make a difference. Uh, there are times when God speak uh, in a loud thundering voice. Uh, you remember when uh, Moses went up uh, to Mount Sinai uh, and uh, how the voice of God uh, was so deafening uh, that he said, Lord, I need you to turn down the volume. Uh, I mean, because uh, what accompanies God's voice uh, was lightning and thunder uh, and all of the spectacular uh, uh, fireworks uh, that you will see coming uh, on the 4th of July. Uh, but no, uh, he, he, he did not want uh, all of that uh, for him to understand uh, God's voice. Uh. But God also speak uh, through uh, our, our faith. Uh, that's right. He speak through our faith. Uh, if we're committed uh, in our faith, uh, if we allow him uh, to work through us, uh, if we give our life to him and serve him, sincerely. Uh, he will speak through uh, the faith uh, of, uh, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, if we have accepted our Lord and sa as personal Savior, God can speak uh, through our faith. Uh, our faith must be relevant. Uh, 
Our faith must be personal. Let me say this again. Our faith must be relevant. Our faith must be personal. And our faith must be consistent. We just can't wait until our backs to the wall to be able to activate our faith. But our faith must be in constant activation because of our connectivity with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Remember the familiarity that I'm talking about. If you're familiar with God's voice, you will hear when he speaks. If you're familiar with God's word and read his word, you will hear when he speaks. If you if you still and if you wait on God and pray and meditate, that's another way in which God speaks when we come to him in prayer, in meditation, in devotion, when we seek after him in prayer, when we express the very depths of our soul and our spirit to him and, and we, we just lay ourselves bare at the altar of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, then he will speak to us. Some people know my voice and they may recognize me. But more importantly, yeah, I am getting to know the voice of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It was that same voice that called me to preach. It was that same voice that directed me to college. It was that same voice that directed me to seminary. It was that same voice that directed me to the chaplaincy ministry. It was that same voice that took me overseas. Oh, in the, in the um, Iraq war, Afghanistan, and all those other places. It was that same voice that gave me the instruction and the guidance that I need in order to come through in the way that God wants me to come through. And it's that same voice that's going to lead you and guide you. It's that same voice that's going to inspire you. It's that same voice that's going to bless you. Oh, hallelujah. Remember Jabez's prayer. The Bible tells us that he was consistent in his faith. He was more honorable than all of his brothers. And he sought after God and he he said, oh, thou Lord will bless me. And the Lord spake and blessed him. The Lord spake with Job when he was in a very terrible situation, when the devil wanted to destroy him, when boils and sores attacked his body, God spoke. And I'm telling you today, if our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and forever, and we have a relationship with him, him. He will speak to us uh, no matter what. There are times when we might be upset with our loved ones, your husband or your wife. There are times that you might be upset with your children and you decide, I am not going to speak uh, to them. But there has never been a time uh, when God uh, has withhold uh, communication uh, and conversation from us. Uh, one of our biggest problems uh, in ministry today is the lack of of direction from God. Oh yes, we have lots of programs. We, I mean, we have programs. I mean, we can come up with some great ideas. We can come up with some with some great programs. But in this day and age, it's the voice of God. I mean, that that is going to take us through thick and and thin. It's the voice of God that's going to take us through difficulties. It's the voice of God that's going to call us to serve. It's the voice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That voice, that voice, that voice, that voice can make a difference. There's been a television program called The Voice. And you have these judges. They will turn their backs. And these contestants will come and they will listen and then their voice will come uh, 
I mean, uh, sounding through. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you have watched that. Uh, you have watched that program. Uh, and then uh, when they hear something that touches them, when they hear something that seems to be exciting, they will turn their chair around uh, and see uh, who has uh, that voice. Uh, well, let me tell you something. God does not, uh, let me say this, uh, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, does not have to turn his back uh, to hear your voice. Uh, he does not have to turn around uh, to recognize who you are. <laughs> Do you hear me today? Yeah. He knows. He says, my sheep hear my voice uh, and uh, follow me. Yeah. But this is the other thing uh, that we need to do. Uh, not only to hear the voice of God, uh, not only to understand uh, what he is saying, uh, but to follow through, uh, to execute uh, what the Lord, how the Lord has directed. Uh, remember his ways and not our ways. Uh, and God has a unique way of doing things. Uh, do you hear me today? Yeah. He has a unique way of doing things uh, in our hearts and in our lives. Uh, and because he has uh, a unique way, yeah, we need uh, to be able to listen to him. Uh, I was trying to get some some ear, ear pods uh, to, to, to talk about how uh, we, we listen to music and, and we put things in our ears uh, and, and sometimes it deafens, uh, it deafens us. Uh, but we don't need uh, these uh, wireless ear pods in our ears uh, to hear from Almighty God. Uh, hear what it says. I tell you the truth. All right, uh, he tell you the truth, uh, that uh, he calls his own sheep by name uh, and lead them out. Uh, and when he has brought them out, uh, I mean, of his own, uh, he goes ahead of them uh, and the sheep uh, follow because uh, they know his voice. Uh, the voice of God wants to lead you. Uh, the voice of God wants to direct you. Uh, the, the, do you hear me today? The voice of God wants to lead you and uh, direct you uh, because uh, there are times uh, when we don't know uh, where we are going. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, it's important for us uh, to seek after God so that he can give us a direction to lead us. So many of you have graduated from high school and so many of you have graduated from college and you want to know what God wants to do with you. I just spoke to a friend that I had not been in connection with for many years. And uh, yeah, and she said to me, yeah, Chaplain Dr. Williams, I am ready yeah, for God's direction and guidance in my life. Uh, I am free. Yeah, I have all this time on my hands. Uh, I have some resources that I can give and use for Almighty God. Uh, and I am just ready for God to use me. Yeah. And I said to her, to her uh, God is going to lead you and direct you. He's going to speak to you and show you what he wants you to do. And I know it as I know it as I know it because he leads us and guides us into the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Do you hear me today? Yeah. It's important for us to know the voice of God, to listen to to the voice of God, not false prophets, uh, not modern day prophets. Uh, I mean, sometimes uh, it's okay to, to listen to the voice of a friend. Uh, it's okay to listen to the voice of a family member, but in the end, uh, their, their counsel, their instruction, and their direction does not bring a sense of peace uh, and satisfaction to our hearts and to our mind. But what brings peace uh, and satisfaction uh, is knowing uh, that our Lord and say that Jesus Christ uh, has spoken to us. Uh, do you hear me today? Yeah. They will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him. Uh, they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Uh, as he says here in, uh, um, in chapter 5 uh, of, uh, of John's uh, chapter, uh, in chapter 10, verse 5 uh, of John's gospel. Uh, it's important for us to, uh, to distinguish, uh, do you hear me today? It's important for us to distinguish uh, 
God's voice from ours. Sometimes we have a way of speaking over our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We have a way of telling him what we want to do, where we want to go, how we want to do it. And we have a way of giving him our agenda and giving him our plans. And then when we get disappointed and we get bruised, we have to come back with to him. Well, let me say you, God has never missed directed anyone uh, in uh, all of their life. Uh, hallelujah. Oh yes, Siri uh, has misdirected me. Uh, and I know Siri has misdirected you. Uh, it was just uh, yesterday when I was trying to look for a particular business. Uh, Siri took me to one place. Uh, I was listening to her voice. Uh, and when I got to that place, uh, it was not there. Uh, and there are times when we replace God's voice uh, and we speak over him uh, and we don't listen. Uh, but let me say this, uh, when we listen and when we follow, uh, hallelujah, when we listen and when we follow, he said, he lead us into green pastures. Uh, uh, here, verse 11 says, uh, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lay down his life for his sheep. Uh, the higher hand is not so. Uh, so he sees uh, the wolf coming and he runs. Uh, he says in verse 14 again, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep uh, and my sheep know me just as the fathers know me. Uh, and because he is your father, because he is your shepherd, because he knows you, uh, and because you are familiar with his voice, uh, he would lead you and guide you into paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Uh, listen to Psalms 23. He says, the Lord is my what? Shepherd, uh, I shall not want. Uh, he maketh me to lie down uh, in green pastures, uh, and he leadeth me uh, beside the still waters, uh, and he restored my soul, uh, and he lead me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Uh, do you hear me today? He lead me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Uh, Psalms 23. Uh, and I'm saying, uh, Allow God to lead you. There are some difficult decisions that we have to make uh, in our lives. Who to marry? When to marry? There are some financial difficulties that we have to make. Uh, some, some difficult financial decisions that we have to make uh, when there is more mon than money. Yeah. There is some fa critical decisions uh, that we have to make about our health uh, and what we should do about our health. Uh, and, and, and although the, the doctor might be speaking in our ears, uh, I pray today yeah, that may not be the only voice uh, that you are listening to, but you might be listening to the voice uh, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, not just the voice of a financial advisor, but a voice uh, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, if you want a voice that is calming. You want a voice that is soothing. You want a voice that is stimulating. You want a voice that will motivate you. You want a voice that will excite you. You want a voice that will move you. You want a voice that will cause you to cry. You want a voice, hallelujah, a voice that you cannot do without. I tell you, it's the voice of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Some people listen to the radio. Some people listen to a tape uh, to go to sleep. Uh, some people do all kinds of things with voices uh, all around them. Uh, but uh, they do not give the satisfaction uh, like the voice uh, of our Lord uh, and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I wonder today, uh, whose voice uh, are you listening to? Uh, hallelujah. Whose voice are you listening to? Uh, and let's go back uh, to what uh, Mercy Me is saying. Uh, as we continue our service and come uh, to the end, uh, the word of God speak. And I believe that he wants to speak to you today. He wants you to let go of your own opinion. He wants to let go of your own thoughts. Do you hear me today? But he wants you to reach out to him. Hallelujah. He wants you uh, to say your voice, Lord, 
is the voice uh, that matters because our Lord and Savior Jesus' voice uh, is a voice of authority. Yeah. It's a voice of power. Do you hear me today? Yeah. The, the, at the name of Jesus, uh, every knee shall bow. That voice uh, can make a difference. But you have to be still and know. Uh, you have to stay in his presence. God, the word of God wants to speak to you today. Get your Bible and read uh, and say, Lord, speak to me through your word. Do you hear me today? Get your Bible and read uh, and say, Lord, uh, speak to me uh, through your word, Lord. Uh, Lord, uh, I, as I open the pages uh, to read, uh, Lord, uh, speak to me. Uh, speak to me, Lord, uh, as I open the pages to read. Uh, speak to me uh, that I may understand uh, what you want me to know. Uh, Speak to me eh, that I may go in the direction eh, that you want me to go. Eh. Speak to me, Lord, eh, that I would not com be confused. Eh. Speak to me that I would not be fearful. Eh. Speak to me, dear Lord, that I would have confidence. Eh. Speak to me, dear Lord, eh, that I would know, that I know, that I know eh, that God has spoken to me. Eh. Speak to me like you speak to those uh, of old. Eh, and the Lord eh, will make a difference. I want to pray with you today yeah and i want to pray that the power of god uh, will speak to you uh, in ways and means uh, that you have not heard him before father we bring uh, our listeners before you who have watched this message all the way to the end at this point and time of prayer dear lord so many have asked for direction and guidance i pray that you may speak to them you may give them the direction and the guidance that they seek, but you may show them your way, yeah, and you may lead them in the path that you would want them to go. I pray, dear Father, that your, your voice would be a voice of confidence. I pray that your voice would be a voice of joy. I pray a voice would be a voice of strength in the name of Jesus, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Speak to us. As we trust in you. In the name of Jesus Lord. Speak to us Lord. In the name of Jesus give instructions. In the name of Jesus give revelation. In the name of Jesus allow your power to prevail Lord. So that when we step out in faith. We know that we are stepping out in the strength and the power of uh, Almighty God, this we pray in your holy name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much uh, for listening and thank you so much for sharing. Thank you so much uh, for bringing the family around the TV and the phone uh, and listening. Uh, and I pray you'll just continue to share these messages week after week. Uh, I'm not going to clog up uh, your inbox by sending you something every day. Uh, but at least once a week, uh, I can send you the, the message that the Lord uh, has spoken to me uh, and spoken to my heart. Uh, that in turn, uh, I can share that word with you uh, that he can speak to you in your heart and in your life that you can follow his direction. Uh, yes. God still speak uh, to us today. Hallelujah.